Ichigo gang, come on guys, check this thing out. So clean and it's pink as well. That's very cool, Drift Tengoku. Looks super clean this thing. And it's literally on the street here in Asakusa. Very, very cool. So we're in Asakusa for their Matsuri. And uh, see this big thing that this guy's carrying? We were literally just walking down the street and the guy literally smacked me in the head with it. I don't know if you can see it too well on camera there, but there's like a little bit of a gash there. Good times being tall in Japan. You get smacked with shrine things. All right, we're gonna try and get through this uh, crowd of people, but uh, I'm really pumped to, because this is something completely different. I've never really shown on the channel before. This is like my first really big Mitsuri and this just looks incredible, so check it out. This is so crazy. I've never seen anything like this. So people buy these things, right? And they put it like at the front of their house or business and stuff, brings them like prosperity for their business, protects their family and all that kind of stuff. That's the general belief here. And I guess like they have different types and sizes. Like look at the size of that one. That is huge. How much money does something like that cost, mate? I have no idea. I don't want to know. All right. I mean, that must be like very expensive. Not only are you paying for the supplies, but I guess the blessing that goes with it. This is crazy. I've never experienced this. Bin Chan's very happy. She got a Hello Kitty lollipop. Okay, so we're now at the shrine. And look guys, real shrine women. Girls, things. And they don't look anything like they do in anime. Hope you're not disappointed. <laughs> this, is, this is actually crazy. It is just so packed. And I guess this is like the main part of the shrine. Everyone goes up and does their prayer, drops their money. This is crazy. Let's watch someone gong, do the gong thing and hit it. They're ringing the bells and everything, man. Wow. Okay, throw the money, ding the bong thing. There you go. I'd hit that so hard. I'd be trying to smash that. This is so cool. Kushiyaki dango. Dango. Omoshiroi. Very cool. And then I guess they have all the sauce and stuff. Oh man, I love street food. And like, look at the squids and stuff over here. Okay, this is so good. And the takoyaki. Oh, we found chocolate bananas. Did we? Where? Where are they? Oh, they got prawns or shrimp, whatever you want to call them. Do we find the chocolate bananas yet? Dude, okay, follow Okachan. Okachan knows where they are apparently. Let's go. What? This is insane. I almost, I want to try that. That's so cool. Whoa. This is insane. The street food here looks so good. Man, there's so much here I want to try. So Mitsuri's in Japan, uh, they're all pretty crazy, but obviously like different places, different sizes and stuff. Oh, here they are. Here's where it's at, these chocolate bananas. There we go. They do, they look a little bit sus. But, um, you know, it is what it is. I'm gonna eat one. They're pretty good. So here's the real reason why you guys are watching this video. To watch me eat a chocolate banana. Let's, bottoms up, I guess. Oh, that's good. This is actually really good. This is really good. The chocolate banana has really surprised me. Do you want a bite of my chocolate banana? It tastes really good. <laughs> Just the atmosphere here is so cool. So much really cool seafood being cooked everywhere. It's not too expensive too, it's really cheap. And just like everyone's just chill, hanging out, enjoying the food, drinking. So this thing here is burning a whole bunch of incense, right? And as people walk through and past it, they're gonna blow it on themselves to receive the blessing. So you'll see a lot of people doing that as they walk through, as you can see. <laughs> This is crazy. I've never seen anything like it. So interesting. As you can see, everyone's just super relaxed. <laughs> Drinking lots and having fun. These things are so huge. This would cost so much money. I don't want to know how much that would be. Okamoto-san, ikura gurai kono size no? Juman gurai? So that's like a thousand dollars if you want to buy that. That's crazy. Ooh, look at all the fruit. I don't really know what's going on. <laughs> I 
it's all part of the Matsuri experience being stuck in a crowd of people. This is kind of crazy. It seems like Okachan's uh, getting ready to make a purchase here. So here we go. Here we go. This is for Okachan's one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's so cool. There we go. So what this kind of represents, like that chant they kind of did, is like end of an awesome year, like a closing, and then it's starting again for like more blessings and kind of things like financially for the business in the new year as well. So it's kind of like the year end for them. It's really cool. That's the shrine. And then this is the shrine right here, which we passed before. You've probably been hearing in the background people like donging it. There you go. Very cool. So we just learned something new here. Yuko san was just explaining that they're all designed like rakes, just like the little one that Rinchan has, right? A little rake. And what it represents is like raking in all of the blessings of the year, and like everything here represents something different for the new year that they want to bring in. That's very cool. I didn't know that. So check this out, guys. They've got a mask store here. And this is very typical, like you see in a lot of animes and stuff at the materials. But obviously this is like a win kind of like an autumn winter materials, so you don't see people in like yukatas or anything like that. But uh, I'm pretty tempted to get a Kitsune mask right now just for the fact of it's, it's super cool. Just got myself a drink, but I thought this was really cool. They have cans of green tea sitting in like a hot pot to keep it all nice and warm. So you can get hot tea here as well. Because it is autumn, it is starting to get very cold. It's actually coming into winter now, so it's getting pretty chilly. What is that? Oh my gosh. What, what's that? Gonyaku. That's that, uh, what's it made out of? Like seaweed and stuff, right? But, type of potato. Really? What? And there's like so much stuff here, like... Yakiniku, look at all of that. Oh, so much good food. Oh, kimchi! That's so cool! Alright, I'm just like looking at all this food. Wishing I could eat it all. But we had like the best. Oh, these choco bananas look amazing. They have little eyes on them. Look at it. Oh, what? That is so cool. I wish I ate those ones. Whoa! There's so much cool stuff. Oh, you can get all the spices pre made. What? That is so cool. Man, I need to come to these more often. This guy. Oh, oh man, look at this. So good. I love Korean food. It's so cool to see people making Korean food out here too. Oh, man. I just want to keep... I mean, I could like stay here for like an entire 24 hours and just eat, drink, hang out, meet people, practice Japanese. <sighs> Festivals are epic. We definitely need to go to some more summer ones. Babe, let's go to a big summer one next year. And we can dress up with yukata. Yes. I was kind of hoping that maybe tonight we could do that, but... No, it's too cold for that. Yeah, but kimonos are warm. We you do don't the have a kimono. Right? Yeah, I know, but we could rent one. They have that service, right? Oh, yeah, they do, but you're 193. Oh, that's true. I'm way too tall. <laughs> Yeah, so we've been waiting in this line now for probably about 15 minutes because uh, we really want to try this kind of dessert or snack. Apparently it's really, really good. And uh, it's been kind of interesting. The police have all been here and there's been like people coming through. There was like an RX-7 FD that drove through a GTR and that like rev their engines to piss off the cops. It was kind of funny. But uh, hopefully we get to try this. It's kind of like these little, like they look like tiny pancakes. I don't know what they are. What, what are they called? Castera. Castella. 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 Look at this guy go. Dude, that takes some skill. I wish I was as good as him at that. I've never even made these before. So cool. I can't wait to try it. Hopefully we get to try it because apparently the police are shutting down every store at 11 because this is a public road and it's closed. They will literally like see all these like people here in red things. They'll go around to every shop and make them stop selling. At the moment it hits 11 and we've only got like a few minutes. It's literally like 10.58 right now. So in two minutes, if we uh, if we can't get it, we might not get it at all. So hopefully... Oh boy, cutting it close. We made it just in time. The guys said that even though they're supposed to be shutting down because we're in line, they're going to still serve us. 
So he's uh, prepping a couple batches for us. I'm so keen. They're like little tiny cakes. I'm so excited. <laughs> Look at this guy go, he's a champion. Oh yeah, we got him boys. Hang on, hang on, we gotta, gotta eat one. They're fresh and hot. I'm probably gonna burn my mouth. Well, let's give this a go, hey. Let's give it a go. Oh my god, it tastes so good. It's just like a little mini cake. Look at it, steaming away. Oh man, this is amazing. What did you just find, May, that you're so excited about? This cat sushi. There's cat sushi here. I wonder if it tastes any good. <laughs> you really want a cat that bad, hey? Mm. Shame we don't live in a place... You're allergic to them as well! <laughs> You take a pill every day just for a pet cat. Okay. What about if we get a cat that's uh, one of those bald ones that has no hair? No. They look creepy, the but episode? yeah, <laughs> you won't be allergic to it though, right? Because of the none of the fur, no fur. You want the one with fur? Okay. And now we just got home, and it's 1 a.m. And I still have to edit. <laughs> oh man, this is crazy. Oh, all right, what an epic day though, so worth it. I am so sorry. I actually just crashed and went straight to bed. I was way too tired and falling asleep at the keyboard to finish editing last night. So I got up this morning and I'm editing now, which is why you're gonna get this late upload. Um, but man, I had so much fun and I really hope you guys enjoyed that kind of inside look into Japanese culture and the Mitsuris and stuff like that that go down here. Uh, it's definitely really, really fun. It's something you can take your family to and just enjoy. Even if you don't believe in that kind of stuff, just the atmosphere and being able to see what's going on and how Japanese culture like revolves around that kind of stuff is it's still very, very interesting. Uh, also, my head still is... It, it still hurts a lot. <laughs> I literally got raked in the face by one of those things. Anyways, before I go though, I do have something really cool to show you. Fresh new merch. If you haven't seen my posts yet, we've got air fresheners, we've got all of these epic slap stickers, Ichigo Gang, we've also got like a Drift Team sticker, we've got the premium, we've got Ebisu Spec, and then just like a standard Samet one. Also, this is probably my favorite one yet, are these flight tags. These are sick. I spent so much time trying to find a really good manufacturer for these that was super high quality. They turned out amazing. That is all embroidered. So all sewn in there and it looks incredible. So make sure you get yourself some. Link is down in the description. And with that guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Tomorrow we're back to car content. We gotta fix some uh, some stuff with the skyline. You'll see, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, Jamma.